Hey everyone, Josh uh, here at House Guitars and it's time for another shop update and today is December 17th. We'll go with that. Um, today's update is coming to you on a Tuesday instead of a Monday. It's been a uh, crazy weekend here. It's the time of year getting close to the holidays where there's lots of uh, family get-togethers and other things to do. So uh, was running around like crazy yesterday and didn't get the shop update but still wanted to show you guys some of the things that I have in progress. So let's uh, take a look at uh, a few of the builds that are on the bench right now. So I'll start here in the uh, Go Bar deck and uh, I imagine any of you that follow uh, guitar making will understand how this works but there's a bunch of uh, fiberglass rods uh, with a, a top on the platform and these fiberglass rods are bent and then stuck on top of the piece I'm trying to clamp. So here we have the back for the Indian Rosewood OM. Uh, I think I showed that in last week's video that that guitar was getting underway. So the back has been braced. And if I go up one level, we have the top and uh, just gluing on the bridge plate and some final support pieces. Uh, hopefully be getting the X brace carved on this one today. And then the final uh, upper transverse brace, which goes up here above the sound hole. Uh, that should be going on as well. Here is the, uh, the rim for the Rosewood OM, and I've got the liners in. Uh, I use reverse kerf liners on the bottom, solid liners on the top. Uh, the solid liners still need to get beveled and cleaned up, and then I will add some side bracing and reinforcement for the side sound hole. And uh, it's also time to get going on the neck for this one, so you can see that probably in uh, maybe in next week's video, we'll see. So as far as uh, some of the new builds that are on the go. I'm excited to be building two of my 13 fret triple O guitars and I really love the triple O shape. It's a longer body kind of on the narrow side um, relative to its length so it feels like a small guitar but it still has lots of uh, body volume so you get a great full sound out of it. This uh, what you see here is mahogany just a really nice set of plain straight grain quarter sawn mahogany uh, sides have been bent The discoloration you see on the sides here. That's just all from from moisture and water during the bending process that all sands out and uh, This is going to be a lefty So it's always kind of fun to build a left-handed guitar I tend to do that every two years or so it seems I get an order for one and the top on this is a very cool set of Engelmann spruce uh, a little bit wider grain, but this really beautiful pink coloring and uh, a bunch of that will get into the uh, the top. So really looking forward to this one. And here we have the um, the wood for the other triple O. And uh, this back set currently has a dreadnought profile on it. It just came that way from the supplier. Um, I still have to join this. It's got this really nice sap wood, and I'm going to do my best to save some of that when I join the back. It's always a little tricky but I think I can get at least some of it in. Uh, the top on this one is a really nice uh, Adirondack red spruce top. Little bit of coloring, uh, nice straight grain, white color. Uh, one of my favorite top woods to use for sure. And uh, this guitar is gonna sound fantastic. The, the back and sides is Cataloche, extremely dense, heavy hardwood from Mexico. Um, I built a guitar out of this last year and was very pleased with the, the tonal results of the guitar. It also looks great and um, it's just going to be a really rich sounding guitar. You can see the sides over here all bent, ready to be joined. That'll be happening in the next day or two. And uh, yeah, two really great uh, triple O guitars that are going to be a Built side there by you side. have it. Lots going on in the shop again this week. I'm trying to cram in as much work as possible before uh, taking some time off uh, over the next week, the Christmas and New Year's holiday. Um, but I do hope to get a few more videos up on the webpage this week. Not 100% sure which ones will be going up, but I'm going to have a uh, just a time lapse overview of how I inlay my logo. Uh, that's one of the questions I get asked a lot. And if there's something else you would like to see or wondering, wondering about, uh, leave me a question in the comments. Please like and subscribe. And be sure to check out my other videos if you want a behind the scenes look at uh, what goes on the sh in the shop of a professional luthier. Thanks for watching.